This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com Hello, what's up people? Dobbs Wars is right here and welcome to another Pokemon Pack Ring. This episode and tomorrow and um, the next episode are quite big people so I might have to cut out the, the opening of the product because they are freaking huge! Why? Because these are Costco exclusive products! One display box has four tins! This one has the Eevee, Pikachu, Tyranitar and Eternus. The next one which will be in the next episode has Empoleon, Umbreon, Espeon and Sylveon. Oh yes people, it's true, it's damn true. So I'm going to cut the video right here people, open up all these products and see what's in these tins. So give me a few minutes. And we're back people, so I opened up four tins and what I've just found out that these tins are actually the American tins. Because in the UK, we have the smaller tins, which are like half the size, which has four booster packs in it. The American ones have five booster packs in it, which are quite bigger and they're more expensive. And the Costco ones, we only, we paid them about, I think it was £65 for the um, four tins in one box. And you can easily sell these tins for £25 a piece, so you're making a massive profit if you're doing a retail. So these are the hollow rares that we got right from the get-go, so we got the Terminator V. Here's your first code, it's gone, EVV, your next code, Tyranitar V, your next code, and your Pikachu V, with your other code. So these cards, these promos are actually really, really good to be honest people, they're, they're fantastic cards. And I think one or two of these actually do see play in the matches and everything, so that's really, really cool. So they are quite useful. So in these tins, people, and I'm sure that the next tins that we sh that you'll see in the next episode probably will have the same stuff. So each one consists of one Fusion Strike, two Brilliant Star, and two Evolving Skies. That, people, is phenomenally good. We have more chances to get ourselves the beautiful Umbreon card, more Charizard cards, and the and the Mew slash Gengar card. Some very expensive, expensive cards, people. Which is fantastic. And we're gonna start off with Fusion Strike, people, because that's how we like it. We're leaving Brilliant Stars for last because I love Brilliant Star. And as you guys know it, I've already pulled the most expensive card in that set, but I do want the other Charizard cards. Without further ado though, let's get this started. And let's see if we can pull some amazing cards. Still, people. We did have some good luck from the last episode with the celebrations box to get ourselves our graded 10 Charizard back in our collection. But we didn't pull that blue Mew or that or that um, God of War Delta Species card. We got Gligor. And we got Steel Tomo. Not a bad star. I'll take that. Next pack. Here's your code, and it's gone. One, two, three, four, let's have a look. Water Energy, Discovery, Schoolgirl, Luxio, Torada, Baneri, um, yeah, Baneri, Clotopus, Tynamo, Zora, Reverse Fall Snom, and an Aguilar. Okay. Next pack of Fusion Strike. And the two last people, Fusion Strike is actually a really, really good set. I loved it when it came out around. Like, was it near Halloween, if I recall? I'm not 100% certain. But it was a great set when it got released. A lot of people loved this set, to be honest people. A lot of people literally bought loads of packs in this set. Growl, that blinks. Uh, Smiggle, Quillfish, a reverse foil Helioptile. Nice, there's a Gengar right there. Sally, it's the same Gengar I keep on getting, which is a bit of a ball ache, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, at least we got another Gengar. Don't need another one, I really don't. Next pack of Fusion Strike. Here's your code, and it's gone. One, two, three, four, let's have a look. Landing, uh, Metal Energy, Elder Goss, Haluchador, uh, uh, Dark Loke, Dorumaka, Indidi, Raulek, Balance, Mapeko, Reverse Wire, Wulu, and Ole Oricorio! I do love Oricorio. It is a cool Pokemon. 
Even though a lot, a lot of people don't like it, I like it, okay? You can't change my mind. Here's your code for the final pack of Fusion Strike. One, two, three, four. Let's have a look. Sydney, Crosswitch, Exadrill, Cavana, na na na. Mopreco, Skarmory, Shemet, a Reverse Hall Minum, and a Claydol. Nothing massive out of Fusion Strike, just two hollows, one V card, and a Steelix holographic. But now, Evolving Skies. The one set that keeps giving me the same card over and over and over again, but never giving me the goods. Please, Evolving Skies, I love this set so much, but yet it does not follow my beliefs. And it wants to shove the same rubbish over and over again in my face. Like this, the stupid normal, normal, non hollow rare. Whatever you do, don't you dare. Don't you dare give me Espeon Hollow V card ever again. I pulled that six times on this channel and nothing else. It's driving me bonkers, people. It really is. Frego, we got ourselves a reverse for our rare Salamence. And a wishy washy. That's a reverse for our rare, so we'll go ahead and sleeve that up. Put that to the side there. Come on. Please, don't be rude to me. Give me something good. Please don't let it be that same V-card. I don't want Espeon again. Give me something else. Give me Umbreon. Anything like that would be absolutely amazing. Spirit Mask, Scraggy, Drowsy, Marie, the Dibble, Kavana, Reverse Wall, Hitmonchan, and a Ludicolo. I've got this thing like four times. Oh, stop smiling at me, Ludicolo. Oh, Evolving Skies really does not like me. But I still love this set so much. Why do I still open it though? Because it does not love me. Just love me for once. Give me something good. Please focus, thank you. Oh, please for the love of God. Please give me something good. Spirit Mask, Eevee. Come on Eevee. You're the Spirit Reaper in this set. Give me something good. Copycat. Dragazolt, full art, very good, very nice. It's not the most expensive full art, but I'll still take it. It is a big hit, so that is good. I'll take it. Oh my god. Two packs left of Evolving Skies before we move on to one of my absolute favourite sets of last year, Brilliant Stars. And it still is one of my favourite sets from last year. War Energy, Lady, Moon and Sun Badge, Scroll, Fletcherling, Scraggy, Hippopotamus, Typepole, Reverse Foil, Tentacool, a Smeargle. Final pack of Evolving Skies. Come on. Don't be a bugger to me now. You gave me a big card now. And let me guess, now that I pulled a big card, Evolving Skies is not going to give me anything else now. You gave me, you th it gave me one good card, and that's it. No, of course not. It gives me the flipping troll of Drampa. What a surprise! Anyhow, oh, there's still some more here. Oh, you've been hanging out on me, eh? You've been hiding. Three extra packs there. We're not finished yet with Evolving Skies. We've got three more chances. Come on, give me something good. Florette, Baldor, Lady, Woobat, Glossiflor, Bebas, Hippopotamus, Lilliput, Reverse Royal Love Disc, Smeargle, ah, God damn it all, come on, please, give me anything, give me Rikaza, give me anything, give me an Ulta Artwork, give me something, you want to give me a full art and nothing else. Sea Dot, Eevee, Typeball, Duple. Oh my god, a Lilligant. It's literally giving me nothing but all the standard rares. It's literally kicking me in the ball. There's a lovely Pikachu right there. Oh my lord almighty. One, two, three, four. Let's have a looky. Lightning Energy. 
It's going to give me nothing, I know it ain't. I know it's going to give me absolutely trash. Scraggy, what a surprise, yeah, as always. Evolver Sky still hates me. It's That's definitely telling me that I should never open up that site ever again, because I'm not going to get anything great out of it. I really won't. But now, something that is great. Brilliant stars. The one set that... Literally, I was bricking it when I always opened up the booster box because I did not pull a single Charizard until the final booster pack, which pulled the alternate artwork Charizard. The most expensive Charizard card in the set. We didn't pull any other Charizard except for that one, so anything else would be amazing. And we got a Infernape. Good start. Okay. Okay, we got a holographic right there. That's too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Next pack. Here's your code. Here it's gone. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. Fraxel. Blender Policy. Luxio. Clefairy. Salt. Crawfish. Gullet. Oh baby! Yes! We get ourselves Gary's Vaporeon Alternate Cameo. I love it. That is a beautiful card right there. That is my niece's favourite Pokemon card. She loves Vaporeon. She's an awesome card. I love it. Look at it. It's adorable. See, I told you, Brilliant Stars always saves me at the end. It always does. This set is one of my absolute favourites. I told you, people, I love this set so much. Thanks all because of the Charizard as well. But still, though... The cards in this set are absolutely amazing though as well. Trap Inch, Ex Execute, Starly, Shroomish. Oh baby, and we get Gary's Jolteon as well. Let's go. And a Gamble V. Wow, we got a double hitter. Told you that this Brilliant Stars always gives me the support that I need when I'm in the lowest of the lows. It brings back my freaking luck. It really does. Here's your code. And it's gone. One, two, three, four. Let's have a look. Lightning Energy, Sigala, Pachiritsu, Choice Belt, Sock, Crawfish, Golbat, Chinchillo, a Reverse Foil Rare Lucario, very nice. And a Boss's Order Holo Rare. Very good card, to be honest. Very strong card as well for a trainer. And we'll sleeve up the Reverse Foil Lucario right there. Next pack, here's your code, and it's gone. One, two, three, four, my god. Barry, Clang, Farfetch'd, Duskull, Grimer, Sinx, Bidoof, Reverse Foil, Kidler, Anastar Raptor. Final pack of the day, can we end it all off with a hollow? If we don't, I won't complain because we did pull some good cards today, people. We pulled some nice cameo cards, a full art. I cannot complain right there. Leopard, Fire Energy. Oh, I did the card trick wrong. God damn it. That was a normal reverse foil, reverse hollow. And there's Beer Tick, which is a reverse foil uncommon. Never flip in mind. Well, I made a bad error there. Either way, people. That was actually not bad from the Costco, to be honest. Let's see what we pulled, really. I'm very curious how many hollows we pulled out of. For four tins, and you get five boost packs, so that's 20 cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 cards is actually not too bad, people, for what you get. Really, really good. So, the reverse rolls of the day. If you guys want to pause it, please do. These are the ones that I pulled. Not bad reverse foils, to be honest. And then for the reverse foil rares, we've got two of them, Salamance and Lucario. And then for the hollow rares of the day, ladies and gentlemen, of the day! Let me get them all sorted. There we go. 
Normal Holographic, Steelix, Ludicolo, Infernape, Boss's Order, Gramble V, Gengar V, Eternus V, Eevee V, Tyranitar V, Pikachu V, we got ourselves the Cameo Jolteon, the Cameo Volpe v Vaporeon, and the Full Art Draco Zolt V card. If you guys enjoyed it, I truly did, make sure you smash the like button as always, subscribe if you're new to the channel, like I said people do please check out geekretreat.com, they are amazing all, as always, I know this video was, was not supposed to be sponsored by Geek Retreat, but still, I buy these from Costco as well, but whatever, the people I'm still going to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys for the final pack opening of the month, cheerio, not bad at all, my luck is still there I think. My look is still there. I like getting these. These are nice. I do have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!